Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece except for today because we have a few important announcements. The first of which being that this channel, after three years of solid One Piece rambling, has reached a truly absurd 100,000 subscribers. Now when I first set out on this YouTube voyage thing, I had no idea what to expect, but I said to myself that if some stage I had 1,000 subscribers, then I'd be happy and it would be worthwhile. And well, you phenomenal individuals have smashed that goal 100 times over. I really really can't thank you all enough and I am exceptionally proud to have you all as members of our grand fleet. Going forward, I really don't know what to expect as I have no idea how high the mountain of pure One Piece content can be pursued, but I would be honored to have you all by my side as we continue to make waves on this platform. Now, speaking of, we've got some business to deal with here. As many of you are no doubt aware that I recently received a copyright strike on one of my favorite videos that I've ever created, which was the analysis of the Luffy versus Katakuri fight. And today, along with this momentous subscriber milestone, I am thrilled to announce that we have won this battle. After submitting a counterclaim on the strike, YouTube have reinstated the video and removed the strike from the channel, meaning that we are no longer in danger of being instantly shut down based on the whims of whoever chooses to issue a strike for whatever reason. And once again, I really have to thank all of you. Despite this big numbery thing over here, I had really no idea just how many people were willing and able to show their support for this channel through whatever means they were capable of. So I'd very much like to thank anyone who in response to our crisis pressed that subscribe button, followed me on Twitter, became a patron, or joined the Discord server. It really has been an overwhelming past couple of days full of profound hope and despair, and I'm sure that the future will hold many more tests like this, but our Grand Fleet will be far too strong to falter at any of them. So let's look towards the future now. And the first big announcement for this channel going forward is that I will finally be going to see One Piece Stampede very, very soon, which I am incredibly hyped for. So expect a spoiler and non-spoiler review appearing on this channel within the next week or so. Also fun fact, my wife will also be seeing it. So if you're a fan of her ramblings, I'll be trying to get her to record a review as well, which will be uh, it'll be interesting because from everything I've seen so far, I don't think that Stampede is going to be particularly friendly to those who aren't balls deep within the One Piece world. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how that works out. But moving on, next up, I'd like to let you guys in on a bit of a channel shakeup that has recently begun. Basically, here's the plan. I want to diversify what I'm doing a bit more because even after doing this nonstop for three years, there is still a ridiculous amount of One Piece stuff that I haven't spoken about and doesn't really fit into my established series. An example of this would be the recent discussion I did about how good a villain Doflamingo was, so I'm really looking to create more opinion or analysis-based stuff. However, the channel's established series like One Piece 101 and the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia will still be continuing, of course. They just may or may not be as regular as they once were. But on the flip side, if you have a topic that you'd like me to discuss that doesn't really fit into those established formats, then please do let me know in the comments. And moving on, let's talk about New World Review, which if you're unaware is my second channel that has been up for a few months now, and it focuses on, well, everything that isn't One Piece. It's gotten a bit slow of late, but it it is set to become much more consistent with regular Hunter Hunter content, as well as finishing up the Death Note 101 series. But in the near, near future, I am also looking to begin two new series, one of which being a Full Metal Alchemist 101 series, which is something I've really wanted to do for a while now, as well as something a bit more niche by delving into the world of Danganronpa. I'm kind of worried about this second one because it's not wildly mainstream in any way. It's also primarily a game series, but it's a property that I've been quite passionate about for ages. So if you are a Danganronpa or a Full Metal Alchemist fan, then please do hit me up on New World Review the link to which will be in the description below. And I believe that by the time this comes out, one of these videos will be up. And that's about it for this channel update. Once again, I would like to thank each and every member of the Grand Fleet for the unwavering support shown during the copyright situation. And I look forward to bringing you all relentless One Piece content going forward. But if you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of your amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Then like I said before, please do check out my second channel, New World Review, for all of your wider needs. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with, I don't know, something. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.